can you talk a bit more about that Canada US because they're different animals they're different temperatures yeah. they're different flows they're different uh, America has its problems um, I'm moving to the United States next year I'm leaving Canada um, they're both settler states they both hate us like me indigenous person they both despise us however for what I'd like to do in terms of like career in terms of what I'd like to do in terms of financial stability uh, uh, I'll jump out of the frying pan into the fire um, and, and move south. Um, most of my work has been in the United States for the last 20 years. I just haven't lived there. Because you would, okay, from the frying pan to the fire, because the fire has more ambition, because the fire has more energy, more money, more let's just do it. It's just 10 times more of everything, including violence and yeah. chaos and anger all of it's here too it's just, they just have but more it's, it's like pretending we don't have it uh, they it's like to keep a lid on it um i was the host of the winnipeg comedy festival like a week and a half ago and uh, in my middle set i told a story about uh a, this very important canadian american story and uh, the middle set, uh, I was talking about Gary Busey. I met him on a set, and it was this funny story. And, uh, and it turns out that he's very interested in Native culture. And I said, uh, actually, wherever I go in the US, people are fascinated. Like, they, they ask me a lot about my indigeneity. And I say, and very often, they, uh, uh, you know, they, they sort of, confide in me and they sort of lean forward and you know kind of a in a conspiratorial tone they go you know I have a little Indian blood in me and I'm like oh yeah really and usually it's uh, you know Cherokee or some southern tribe you know one of the five civilized tribes and um, and I said I you know I, I really do wonder sometimes if I was uh, an, an Asian actor or a black actor if those same people would say the same thing to me. Oh my God. You know, I have a little Asian blood in me. And I, and I, and I said to the audience, I was like, I, I don't think they do that. Because A, I think they know how they treat Asian people in the United States. I don't think they'd ever say to me, I, I have black ancestors. Because they know exactly how they treat black people in the United States. And they would not wish that on themselves. And I go, so before you laugh at those funny Americans, I said I've worked and traveled all over Canada, and no one has ever leaned into me and said, you know, I, I got a little native blood in me. The audience was stone cold quiet after I said that. And tell me, tell me what you read from that. They were embarrassed or they understood the, in, the depth of the injustice? They were, they were embarrassed for themselves. They were embarrassed for their country. Of centuries of injustice. Of, of, of knowing exactly how they treat us. And they go, I wouldn't want that on myself. That's for sure. I wouldn't want that for me.